learn SpecDriven supports a SpecDriven workflow in PNID with carrying over the information into 3D piping. Learn SpecDriven incorporates many features which cannot be shown in the context of this introduction video. Let's start with drawing a new line. After connecting with the equipment, flange symbols can be inserted. After entering the pipeline information like pipe spec and size, Blend Spectriven is already selecting the correct flanges. When we insert ball and check valves, Blend Spectriven will search for suitable elements with a given pipe spec and size. In our case, they are flanged. Therefore, Blend Spectriven can insert flange symbols as well, and again with the pipe spec information. If we insert a general valve symbol, Blend Spectriven shows us what is available in the pipe spec and then also substitutes with the correct symbol. In the Blend Spectriven tree, we see what has already been inserted in the line. Blend Spectriven can also insert fasteners like gaskets, which can be shown or hidden. Part of Blend Spectriven is the so called attribute flow, where arbitrary properties of one pipeline segment can be propagated to the other segments within the pipeline group. If we change, for example, the size, insulation type, and thickness, the T will be substituted by a reduced T before we have to decide if we want to propagate this information to the other line in the other drawing. We see now that the information has been received by the other line. If we have a look at the properties of the T, we see that the data from the pipe spec is available. With that, you can already create a bill of material with the correct pipe spec information from the PNIDs. From the plant spec driven tree, we start routing the line from PNID in 3D. After finishing routing, we see the first green points. This means that those PNID elements do exist in 3D too. Next, we insert the three valves and see how the whole tree becomes successively greener till all parts have been inserted. If we now edit the tag of a PNID symbol, we see this inconsistency in the tree right away. We can review the details and can copy the value into 3D. Now we see the change tag in 3D as well.